going to tell you isn't on the screen. And I don't share it with a whole lot of people. Because it scared more people away than it's attracted. And before I tell it, I have to, I have to help you understand that I don't claim to be anybody special. If I did, I think that I would be living a lie. If I were to try to build myself up as, as, a, as some kind of big spiritual leader for somebody to follow, for example, I don't, I don't want that. Okay? Because I put my pants on one leg at a time, just like the rest of you. And I grew up in a family of ten kids. So I know none of us are perfect. And how many of you know that none of your family members are perfect? Well, that's the big test of life, in my opinion. Your work associates, you just get on the surface. You don't have to take them home. You don't really, really get to know all their weaknesses. Family members who you spend time with your whole lives, you do. You get to know all the good as well as all the bad. Huh? And the big test is, can we still get along? Well, with ten kids, I would be number seven... I had three other brothers, three younger brothers, and three older, bro bro uh, older sisters. So, uh, yeah, I think that you have to believe in God just to survive in a family that big. <laughs> Me personally, that's my, my own experience, okay? Wow. Well, and I know I'm not perfect. If you can turn one cell that's shut off, if you can take one cell that's turned off and turn it back on again, you've just resurrected that cell. It could look like a new, it could look completely dead, totally lifeless. We've had cancer and AIDS patients in Mexico taking blood tests, and the white blood cells and lymphocytes have looked completely dead, totally lifeless. Lifeless. We spend seconds with them activating their life processes, like what we're going to demonstrate tonight with an instant mass healing with everybody. You'll see how fast life processes can be turned on. Take another blood test, and white blood cells and lymphocytes are eating up everything in sight. You'll get a little experience with what we're talking about tonight. You'll see things happen that you've never seen before tonight. The fastest, easiest healing technology that I've ever had experience with, and I love to share that ability with other people, how you can do that for yourselves and others. Just as fast and easy as I can. It's, all, it's really all about you, then, as much as possible. Hopefully, you'll be greater than I am in many areas of your life. That's, you know, that'd be wonderful. But um, these tests, where they take the blood tests again, and the white blood cells and lymphocytes are eating up everything in sight, they've just literally been resurrected. And if you can reproduce that on a mass scale through the body... You could resurrect someone as long as the soul hasn't left their body yet. You know, reminds me of the Princess Bride. He's not dead, he's just mostly dead. Remember Miracle Max? There's a big difference between all dead and mostly dead. All dead, you just look through their clothes for loose change. <laughs> but mostly dead, well, we could bring him back. And there are a lot more people than you may realize. This is something that's kind of been a, a big focus in my life. So I've actually looked into different stories about people that have been dead longer that have come back. And there's a whole history that most people don't know of because it's not comfortable to know that the reasons why they do embalmments in the mortuaries, why they replace blood with, with the formaldehyde, one of the reasons is to make sure that they're dead, so they don't wake up while they're six feet under. Because that idea is even, you know, a more horrifying thought than, <laughs> than making sure that they're dead, right? So they don't suffer if they wake up without knowing. One woman that I heard a story of, it, after three days of her husband being dead in Africa, she believed so much, she prayed every day, all day, for three days. And on the third day, which is where the, when the viewing was, where she still hadn't given up hope. And they noticed that he was breathing, even though he wasn't moving. And they started doing things like massaging the body to wake it up. And we're going to explain how stroking and compressing tissues activate the lymphatic vessels. That's number three and four. And the fifth one, energy. 
We'll explain how that works. Those are the five basic things. Deep breathing, bouncing, stroking, compressing tissues, and energy. The five basic things that all healing arts, one way or another, are tied into. And we will get into that energy. My father is the one that discovered the sodium-potassium pump. As a chemist, he recognized it. He was looking for it, knowing that the whole system made up of protons, neutrons, and electrons. You can't take the whole system made up of that without the whole system operating on electrical principles. He really believed that he would find that electric generator. His parents did nothing but praise their children. And each one of them has been really successful. They've just gone out and really believed that they could do what they could do. There's a guy in Orange, California, who was dead on arrival with a heart attack. I got the message an hour and 45 minutes later, because I was doing events like this. And I called his wife back, who I'd helped after she'd had a heart, had a uh, car accident. And we actually got her healthy, just in time, to perform a greater miracle with her husband. He, they just left his body on ice. You know, if someone has been without oxygen for an hour and 45 minutes, they're pretty much given up on. And I called her back, and she insisted that I do use the, the technology that I'm going to be demonstrating for you tonight, for him, 600 miles away. She being 700 miles away from him. There are some principles where time or, and distance are not a factor. Thomas Edison and Albert Einstein both discovered that there are some energies that our body and our mind can emit that are instantaneously, that time and distance is not a factor, that instantaneously are throughout the entire universe. Instantly. What they didn't actually quite put together with that is the intelligence that goes along with that. That's another level of understanding. Is that the, the, in, the intelligence and energy are exactly the same thing. Every word in every language, as long as it has the same definition, it has the same energy signature. If you've got the same combination of definitions, same combination of energy signatures. In the beginning was the word. We've all been told about that. And it's interesting that even quantum physics shows, this is, this is also throughout quantum physics, things are created on an intelligence and energy level before they're created physically, before they're physically manifested. Okay? But the whole universe was created by intelligence and energy, which are inseparably the exact same thing. You've heard people say, knowledge is power. Love and light. And, and, and all these things are the same thing. So any answer you give me, if this equals that equals that. Okay. Clarity equals charity. You know, it's it's the same as saying love and light. Right? Charity, the pure love of God. Well, some of my favorite things to talk about. It's also supposed to be the greatest of all the gifts of the Spirit, it's been said. Interesting stuff. Well, we'll show you how, the more experience you get with me, you'll start seeing some of that take shape in a way you've never seen before. Um, this, this man, you're probably interested, this guy that was dead for an hour and 45 minutes. So I did some checking and I felt good. I said, okay, let's go for it. And instantly his heart started beating again. He started breathing again. Just as fast as what you're going to witness tonight with yourselves within a split second when we show you. When, you. when you when you see what we do tonight to you. Instantly. The doctors were absolutely amazed. Dr. is his doctor in orange. And absolutely amazed. I've had phone calls with him. I met with his head assistant face to face. She's been just delighted to meet and talk and un understand more and more what's going on. Doctor is more of a natural medical doctor too. Uh, had several trips to China, studying Chinese medicine. And so a lot of doctors have been more open-minded and have been gathering more and more information, putting pieces of the puzzle together. 